क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई देर आर गो नी टू पार्ट सो दी मैक्सिम मार्क इज फिफ्टीन जस्ट जूम फिफ्टीन सो इधर यू कैन गो विद दिस पार्ट ए विच इज अ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन आइसोमेट्रिक ड्रॉइंग्स और यू कैन गो विद दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड राइट बोथ ऑफ दीज प्रॉब्लम आर एट एन इक्वल डिफिकल्टी लेवल इट इज गोइंग टू टेक यू अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स टू बी प्रिसाइज एंड लेट्स सॉल्व दिस वन इनिशियली draw the isometric view of the given front and top views so we have been given the front and top view of a machine component let's say we need to prepare the isometric view that means the view where all the dimensions length width and height can be seen in one single view that's the isometric view okay what is the other important characteristic about an isometric view i mean this is it is constructed in such a way that all the three axes they happen to be at an equal angle with each other they happen to be making an equal angle of 120 degrees with each other let's get going this is going to be fun watch this right till the end here we go the first thing is to decide where you are going to choose your length whether your length is going to be along this side or this side length width length width i am going to choose the length as 100 mm i mean i'm not choosing it as 100 mm i'm going to choose length along this side right you can choose it here also but uh, if you choose the length as 100 mm over to this side right hand side uh, the view appears slightly obstructed okay the perspective is not that good i would suggest you to pick the length as 100 mm over to this side and then you can choose the width which is equal to 50 mm over to this side right the final isometric drawing created is going to be very very good looking and uh, really you, you need to trust me on this right you can you can you can do it the other way around also and uh, you can make a comparison it is your choice so 50 width this side 100 length this side i think we should get going here it is what is this sir this is 100 what is this this is 50 and gradually we will be giving the height to all the points to all the different elements in our drawing right this is a slightly tough question because there are as many as 1 2 and 3 circular or semi circular profile whenever you have to deal with such profiles it involves a lot of construction and it takes a lot of time right okay so what we've just done we have just created this this now what is this height sir this is actually 12 mm 12 12 units to be very precise so give it this give this some height 12 both the sides done join them now how much is this distance sir if you take a careful look this in totality the length is 100 100 minus 12 will give you 88 so this is going to be 88 so this is going to be 88 again you need to keep your drafter in such a way you always need to move either in this fashion or you have to move either in this fashion or you have to move in the vertical direction either up or down okay these i mean your movements are restricted along these set of axes to and fro to and fro to and fro that's it now what uh we are right here 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 what is this height please tell me what is this height sir this height is actually 50 minus 12 that is 38 so this is going to be 38 okay very well what about this how much is this height sir this is 50 so this please i am marking out with different colors this is going to be 50 and this red color is going to be 38 38 done yes sir now it's it's very simple you can see this uh, uh let me have mm senate okay please see it, this is what we'll be creating first of all and this portion is left let me do this done okay now take a look red red okay and this is not red this is purple okay so 
how far back you need to go sir we need to go back by a distance of 50 millimeters so you can go 50 for this point also for the both the points 50 and 50 and actually there are actually two points over here one at the top one at the bottom although in the top view you are going to those two points are going to overlap each other okay if they, if i say this is one and this is two uh, dash and two dash this is going to be one comma two okay so uh, there are essentially two points you need to go back traveling a distance of 50 50 50 50 again 50 50 50 done now finish it off this way this way this way your basic structure is done now you need to think about all the different profiles that we will be creating take a look now uh, take a look at this point where is this point here it is this is the point i'm talking about to the right how far to the right do you need to go how far to the right do you need to go? you need to make a calculation sir this is going to be 12 plus 24 that is 36 36 plus 12 will make it 48 so you need to go to the right by a distance of 48 millimeters done okay let me make uh, this is okay in the isometric these are the two points i'm talking about right i'll always be marking points and you can relate to them with this iso uh, with this orthographic view now this is the point i'm concerned about how what is the height so this height is 26 on both the sides both the sides 26 from both the ends done what about this distance and this distance sir this is actually 12 from both the ends so 12 to the right and 12 to the left done yes sir now uh, in between these two points you have to create a sort of semicircular profile so but in isometric view right it, it should look like an isometric view how do you do that first of all take a look now you can connect these two points you know very well that the gap between them is 24 okay and you can take the center also this is the center once again what is the radius of this semicircular profile sir the diameter happens to be 24 where did you see the diameter so this is the diameter 24 so half of diameter is radius that is going to be 12 so 12 12 to the right 12 to the left 12 above 12 below and from here we can construct the isometric view of the semicircle this way okay please close it close it this way this way this way now just focus on this shape it looks like a rhombus it will have a larger diagonal this is also going to have a smaller diagonal focus on the end points of the smaller diagonal join it with the center of the opposite ends this way this way then center of the opposite end center of the opposite end let me make it okay what we are now interested in are these four centers now first what you need to do is pencil end of your compass and steel end of your compass this much as the radius so rotate in the anti-clockwise sense until you reach here then pencil end of your compass and steel end of your compass rotate with respect to this center until you reach here this is exactly how you need to make your semicircle i have to remove the construction for some time i'll bring it back don't worry okay now what's up so we are essentially at this very point this very point green 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 how far back you need to go? let me zoom in how much is this a depth sir this is having a depth of uh, 50 minus 10 minus 12 so 50 minus 10 is 40 40 minus 12 is going to be uh 28 so this green point from this green you need to go back and travel a distance of 28 that is for sure let me apply two more points red points how far back you need to go please sir this is 50 50 minus 12 will give you 38 so 38 38 from the red 28 28 from the green and let me make two red points also so remember 38 38 larger lines from red 
and 28 28 from the greens right i'll be making this line also don't worry okay sir now what now you can make this sir how do you make this without any references without any guidelines it's very simple let me tell you let me make the construction first of all you know what you need to do is you need to keep your drafter aligned along this line have you done so tighten the screw done okay how far back was this sir this was 28 millimeters 28 millimeters centimeters 28 units by the way so you now need to travel a distance of 28 and mark a point you even you you just keep your scale over here okay aligned along this line and then you need to get your, to this point get it to this point simply make a point get your scale to this point don't even draw a line simply make a point get your scale to this point don't even draw a line simply make a point in this fashion you are going to have multiple points and when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have is a beautiful curve which happens to be the isometric view of the semicircle okay i'm sure you all have understood how to create this circle at the back the semicircle at the back and that's the cheat code done sir. now let's finish this sir this distance this distance let me do this okay that's 48 close it down now and uh, now what we can do is uh, down this way looks nice and one more thing i don't know whether you observed there is a solid line there is a solid line okay so that solid line will be represented in the isometric through this now it looks nice very realistic okay so far so good now what now there are essentially two points over here one is at the front one is at the back in the front view one dash and two dash so one at the back is this point two i mean this is a so, sort of a slant you can make this very easily and then one can be made over here the distance between these two points is 10 millimeters so at a distance of 10 millimeters you can make another point and then again a slant come down and to the right hand side done okay five more minutes to go and we'll be done with this problem you need to find the center point this center point is for both the circular profile as well as the quarter circle profile how do you locate this actually uh, the center is at a distance of 20 millimeters from here and 20 millimeters from here also right one dimension is missing but but it is 20 millimeters so you can locate that center it's very easy let me tell you so what you can do is you can make two points 20 millimeters 20 millimeters then draw parallel lines with respect to this draw a parallel line the intersection is going to give you the center very easy here it is now what you need to do is you need to observe the diameter sir the diameter of the circle is 15 so the radius is going to be 7.5 so 7.5 this way 7.5 this way 7.5 this way 7.5 this way right let me do this let me zoom in 7.5 7.5 7.5 7.5 please make a point over here at a distance of 7.5 from the center in here also okay now what now cover this again the technique is very simple smaller diagonal corner join join smaller diagonal corner join join this way let me do it in a much more civilized way and these are the intersection points so first of all with this much as the radius okay with this as the center let me do this with this as the center and this much as the radius construct then with this as the center and this much as the radius do the construction and you know the remaining steps okay just make it i am to i'm going to remove this construction for for some time now let me go ahead and do that and now i am left with this semicircular profile not semicircle but what is circle profile by the way how much is this sir this is 40 what about this much sir this also is 40 so 100 
minus this uh this was 48 48 plus 12 is 60 100 minus 60 will give you this as 40 40 so i mean 20 20 now this is your playground and you need to construct your quarter circle extend 20 20 20 20 now the same stuff smaller diagonal okay centers of the opposite sides join with this and this done you need to make only this much portion right so take this as the center and this much as the radius anti-clockwise sense just do it here we go done what about the quarter circle at the bottom it is very easy 12 mm below make a point again 12 mm below make a point 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 and through all of these points you don't need to make these lines okay just mark these points these points are going to act as guidelines for you to finally go ahead and make this curve like this watch it again watch it again but this is how you need to do it and that's the construction total construction right uh, some teachers might get offended if you don't show the construction to them so uh, and they are absolutely right i agree with them if you are taking so much pain to construct these circular and semicircular profiles make sure the construction stays okay but use a very very light pencil 3h or a 4h pencil for that purpose right if you do that everything is going to look very very decent and sophisticated please take a look over here this much portion of the semicircle profile is visible this portion is not visible so it has been kept in the 3h format and this has been enhanced using an edge pencil hmm? made even a bit thicker so make sure you use all of these hacks to make your drawing uh, i mean look good and it should pop out eventually the use of different colors makes our drawing look i mean come alive makes it pop out right it should look good to the edge right so that's the isometric view and it was uh, a challenging problem in fact there was a similar problem that i had done in my previous question paper series that i was on pune university there also i had encountered a similar problem okay the dimensions were different and the profile wall was also slightly different over here i'm not able to recall uh, but yes there was a similar problem that i had done anyway i hope this problem has helped you understand the idea of creating an isometric drawing and if you've got any doubts write them down in the comment section below